The debt of 26 trillion naira seems not to be enough as the Nigerian Senate has approved another $22.79 billion loan request of President Muhammad Buhari. Empire State is battling with unpaid salaries, hurt men attacks and IDP issues, but a 2.9 billion naira car loan for its governor, Duya Diri, is priority. This is Plus Politics and I am Benny Ark. The Senate has approved the $22.79 billion loan loan request of President Mahmoud Buhari. The process of approval was not, however, without protest from the opposition senators led by the minority leader, Ayinaya Abaribe. It should be noted that President Buhari sent a similar loan of $30 billion request to the 8th Senate under Bukala Saraki in 2016, but the then lawmakers turned down the request as the majority voted against it. Why is it back? Do we really need it? And joining us on the phone this evening to talk about this is Osilama Okofo, an economist. Good evening and thank you for joining us. With Nigeria's debt profile reaching $70.85 billion and could potentially rise, the Senate has approved President Mahmoud Buhari's request for a fresh $22.7 billion loan. What is your take on this? Um, yeah, there actually, actually has been a lot of that's why concerning the conditions approval by the Senate. Um, we talked about the condition GDP and of course some Nigerians. Now, my take is simple. I actually have never had any issues with uh, borrowing by by the government, right? So long as the money that are borrowed are geared towards infrastructural development, income generated potential, which is government has seen the money is going to be used to improve infrastructure by two times the capital and sometimes the distance. We on our agriculture, which is fundamental and key. We improve on our education, our health facilities, uh, and of course, we are be improved on the level of uh, employment. But if you put all these things on the table and, and they are actually done, it's good. Again, to when you benchmark the fact that as a nation, our, our, our gross domestic product our GDP is, is, is over hundred billion dollars. But if you look at the the, the, the loan to GDP in uh, our ratio, and if you, if you, if you do that, we are not being bad deal with $26.7 billion that has been approved by the Senate. What is key for me is what are we going to do with the money that is going to borrow? I mean, those are the issues we really need to look at and ensure that the money are not treated. And actually, I need to point out the fact that there are so many, about five agencies, financial agencies globally that are going to uh, uh, monitor. The investment and expansion of this fund, the World Bank, the African Development Bank, the the Japanese, our Japanese partner. Osilama, right. uh, uh, we'll have to let you go. Uh, we seem to have a disruption in network there, and when it's a bit better, we'll, we'll get you back on the phone. Thank you very much for joining us. And joining me in the studio is legal practitioner Raymond and Kanebe. Thank you, Raymond, for joining us on Plus Politics this evening. Now, let me take a quick reaction to this to this development. Yes. Another loan on the way. What is your take on this? Um, my take on it is. Um, well, it's quite unfortunate, but uh, I think it's more of a Hobson's choice, uh, given the uh, infrastructure deficit in this country and what we've uh, heard that this uh, recent loan is being targeted at, okay. key infrastructural yes. project. So when you look at it uh, against that backdrop, you may want to um, agree with uh, the Senate yesterday, um, agreeing to uh, let the Mr. President get those funds from uh, the, 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 the borrowers. Uh, but as Mr. Osiloma started pointing out, uh, it falls back to issue of uh, um, how we're going to um, implement some of these, uh, uh, when, this, when we get this money, how yes. do we actually infuse them into this key project? And then we have to do the kind of uh, projection as to well. how much can we actually derive from 
uh, from this project when they are fully implemented, so that the, 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 the cost benefit of the loan would not also be, be lost on us. But then looking at it further, against the backdrop of the fact that we are now we are heavily indebted. Yes. The debt to GDP ratio is very, very poor. I heard for every four naira Nigeria ends, we spend about three naira to service our debt. Yes. In the last two, in the 2020 budget, about 2.7 trillion naira is quoted for to service yes. debt, even higher than the total vote for capital expenditure. expenditure. So that gives you a sense of what we are battling with. So you may want to ask, do we really need to, shouldn't we look at uh, perhaps try to cost, cut down the cost of government so that we see how we can leverage on, uh, uh, on that, on, that uh, on, the, on the surplus to perhaps service some of these infrastructural project, which I agree is actually in huge uh, deficit. If you look at the fact that the, 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 the allowance for members of National Assembly alone, about 124 billion naira, is far in excess of what was, budget, what was voted in the 2020 budget, budget yeah. for key, uh, key uh, ministries and departments and agencies which have a huge bearing on, this, on the economic of, uh, economy of the country. So I think as much as we should borrow, we might want to, uh, also want to do some soul searching to see are we not uh, spending too much to maintain the system. And so we'll see how we can uh, um, score, um, try to key two beds yeah. with one stone. Now, now this loan, if granted, what, what do you think would be the impact of it on the Nigerian economy, both positively and negatively? Okay, well, positively, positively will be on the, on the condition that it's, um, it's been uh, applied to the latter. As mean, uh, it, uh, on that assumption, yes. I think it's going to, um, it's going to uh, boost the economy. When you look at the projects which they have been tied to, you can actually see, you can actually uh, want to uh, be optimistic that it's going to be, uh, uh, be in the best interest of the economy. But then the danger is, assuming it doesn't, what happens? Talking about the disadvantage aspect of it, of course, it's going to, since it's, uh, we are borrowing to actually, uh, we are borrowing to um, uh, fund key infrastructural project, we might not run the risk of um, inflation, you understand? Because we are not borrowing to, uh, for pleasure. Yes. You get this, we will have to be put back into construction. Uh, we, are, we are going to pay laborers, we are going to buy materials, you understand? So we are going to, the economy will be, uh, we are going to, it will, it will have huge impact on the, on the economy. Yes. So it's not too bad, but to the extent that it is properly used for the purpose for which it is being um, gotten. Okay. We'll come back to you. We have, we have a video. Let's take a look. We are going to pass a loan approval of $27 billion. And we, who are going to pay back that, are making efforts to make sure that this is clarified to other people. And Mr. President, you are not giving us the privilege to make our points known and come across. And we don't see anything that is so difficult for us. Where is your privilege? Just, you, you cited which privilege of yours was not given to you? My privilege, Mr. President, I was calling for point of order to point out this thing to you. Haven't, haven't I given you the chance now? Okay. You raised a point of order 43. You didn't tell me what you are going to raise. I said I denied you because that is what the standing order says. You are supposed to tell me in details. You didn't even tell me a synopsis. I didn't even know what you are going to say. So I denied you that, but before then you spoke even more than once. And I think minority leader, you know the process here more than anybody else. You have not been denied your privilege. In fact, the minority has had more than a fair share uh, in this respect. And what all I wanted to point out, which uh, uh, we are finding out on this floor that you don't want us to do, is that we are saying that there are some aspects of this loan that we must have to vote on to decide whether they are in our interest or not. And the Senate leader had even confirmed with me and said that all he wants also, and he's right here, you can find out from him, that we accept the ones that we raise our economy. We have some issues with certain things inside here. 
the reason why reports of committees come to the general house is so that we can make our inputs into those things. Now, we want to make... We'll go for a quick break and we'll return. Plus Politics will continue. Do stay with us. And thank you for staying with us. And during the break, joining us is Ada Njamanze, political analyst. Thank you, Ada, for joining us on Plus Politics. Thank you for having me. Now, you did see the clip and Ayin Aya and yes, all of its yes. op op opposition to why this loan should not be sought after and should not be granted. How do you want to react to this? Well, uh, with due respect to distinguishing it to Ayin Aya he is playing the typical role of a minority leader in the Senate of this kind, and we must commend him for um, for, for 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 that. If you if you if you recall why the last National Assembly did not approve this uh, this loan request by the president, it was due to issues around what he we saw him yes. raising there. So um, I think uh, for him to have been overruled by this by the leader of the Senate by the Senate president well, was uh, he was really hard done by there because he was asking that we should actually uh, uh, um, look at the, the head of this, uh, of this expense and see how we can to, to interrogate it to see the extent to which um, it's going to be in the interest of our economy. When you look at $500 million voted for rehabilitation of the NTA, I, I don't think if, if that opportunity had been given, uh, that would have made it to, 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 uh, to part, as part of what the Senate approved from Mr. President yesterday. Okay. So um, I, I agree with what Mr. Baribu was trying to do yesterday. Now, with the debt of Nigeria reaching about $70.85 billion at the end of June 2019, now the Senate approves President Mahmoud Bari's request for a fresh $22.7 billion um, dollar loan. What, what are your thoughts concerning this and the, the possible negative and positive effects of this loan, if granted? Uh, the, the positive for me is I, I looked at um, the list of um, projects okay. that they want to infuse the money into. We have issues in this project. Okay. But the question is, we've always put money into this. What have we done? What have we not been doing right? And is the money going to be utilized as stated? Which is one of the things that um, Senator Abaribe was Concerned highlighting about. yesterday yes. because he said, look, let's look at the specifics. Let's look at this and then look at where exactly this is going. Because if we recall, this, um, the president requested for an, a loan with the last assembly, yes, which was rejected. Assembly. And now this is something new. This is a lesser amount, but it's still something that has that we have to worry about. Now, looking at the negatives, the, the negatives for me is if the money is not used according to what they've asked the loan for. Because I looked at the list of the banks, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous with um, where we are currently at yes. in, the, in the economy. How can we move ahead? If we use this, it increases the, um, a better economy for us, but if we don't, it's a huge problem. Now, now I'm even concerned that the government keeps borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. And how do they intend to pay this, this money back? I mean, is this going to be from taxpayers' money? Because at the end of the day, like you rightly said, we're not so much concerned about the loan. It's about what they're going to use this money to implement to, to benefit the entire Nigeria. What, what's, what's, what's the way that they intend to pay this loan? Now, let, me, let me ask you that. Well, um, the 2020 budget has a projected revenue growth of about 8.1 trillion naira, if, yes. I, if, if my memory does not fail me. Uh, and if you recall of recent, the, twin, the, the finance bill was passed into law. And if you look at the details of the finance bill, it, is, it was targeted at perhaps to expand, um, uh, to unlock key revenue um, uh, uh, markers of the economy, particularly the finance, particularly, particularly to, with tax, trying to widen the tax uh, net as much as possible to make sure that uh, more persons are captured. So I, I see the government looking at trying to go, um, uh, try to uh, generate revenue more from not particularly from oil, uh, from, from oil, but from other, uh, from the tax and all of that. So um, I, I think the government is being uh, overtly ambitious, but I will, I, will see that, I will see that they should be more cautiously optimistic because some of these uh, projections don't turn out to be the, mm -hmm. turn out. so at the end of the day, they might end up uh, mortgaging this, uh, the debt, payment of this debt for, for the next generation, particularly my generation and the ones who come after me. As Mr. Abarebi pointed out yesterday, if you go borrowing, you go soaring. So um, uh, it's, 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 it's quite unfortunate. But like I pointed out before now, it's a Hobson's choice, and we don't have any option but to just go this path. Uh, do, you, do you have a, a contrary toss to what he just said? No, no, yes. no, 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 no. Uh, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm nodding my head, because I'm looking at it from the angle of 
we keep borrowing yes. and we keep getting more and more in debt. The next government is going to inherit more debt. So, and it's just, it's a generational thing and yeah. it's scary because yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm looking at the taxes. Some states can't even pay the minimum wage. Yes. How are we yes. going to offset this debt? Yes. Yes. So it's a question that I think, that's one of the reasons why I was very impressed with uh, Senator uh, Abaribe because I, I think they failed to get the point of what he was trying to pass across, which is why the Senate president kept just, you know, just but, but then again, if I might chip in, if we fail to borrow, McKinsey projected that uh, the infrastructural gap in this country, for it to be filled, we have to spend about $31 billion for the next 10 years. You understand? And if we all agree that the key to any, uh, the, to, the key to the growth of any economy is the, its infrastructure, if we fail to, at the risk of what? So uh, that's why I said it's quite, it's, it's, we are between a, dev, between a rock and a hard place, and we just have to, uh, take it now, now, interestingly, there, there have been rumors that in the breakdown of this new loan, the Southeast has been left out. Um, if this is true, does the support and, and does it stand for the present administration as um, del deliberately, was it, do you think it was a deliberate act? If, if this is anything to go by, Ada? You know, this, the whole regional issue is, is always been there for a very long time. The, we keep asking, even with the last government, what did we gain um, from the Southeast? What did the Southeast gain from the government? And I think this is another thing that we need to look at. With the infrastructure, yes. this new loan is supposed to work towards, I think it should also reach the Southeast. Because if you're looking at infrastructure and you're collecting and you're getting a loan of 22.7 billion, then it should get to the whole country. I mean, we have to look at the resources that each state has to present. Maybe this is one of the reasons why sometimes the South, the South Eastern might feel that they are not being noticed. But I still look at, I'm looking at the, the, um, the specifics that were listed in what this loan is going to do. And I believe that if we work towards the right thing, it's going to get around to the whole country. Now, there was an interesting um, turn of event um, just yesterday on the floor when uh, one of the lawmakers by the name of Senator Adamu Alero actually asked the President of the Senate, Hamalawan, uh, to postpone the deliberation of, of this bill. Then the, the Senate President said no, that it might become a, a, a public, public debate, you know, before, before, they, before they know it. Does that mean the Senate in himself, then they've not totally taken their time? To, to study, to study this, this, this bill? No, what I understood Mr. Lawan to be saying is that if, if they fail to do that at yesterday, it will leak to, leak to the press. And before, when they now adjourn to now sit over it, by then it will have become a public knowledge. And that might undercut the, yeah, but ama he the said amount they of- They need to study the report very well. Mm -hmm. It means the report w was not properly understood. Yes. Well, I think, the, according to what Lawan said, he said uh, the way the Senate works is, if a committee, the committee on appropriation, yeah. budget appropriation, had been assigned the task of doing that, uh, doing the job on the on the on the on the loan proposal, having done their having done their job and presented it to the Senate, uh, it was for the Senate to adopt it. Okay. I don't think it was. It has to go through. It's not like a case of a a, 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 a bill which has to go through the process of reading and all of that. The, 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 the committee, uh, uh, having been passed the vote of confidence to do the job, it was, for, it was for the Senate to just adopt. So I don't think that was, a, that was, uh, uh, that was, that was too much uh, big deal in, in that one for me. What, 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 do you, what do you think about that, Ada? I mean, I mean that is why there was a commotion. Yes. Because there was a commotion because we had certain senators who did not understand the, the bill who do not understand the, the report, the reports, yes. and they needed more time. So when you're saying the press, uh, we, we don't, you, don't, you want to pass it now so that the press, I'm still confused. We, there, there's a reason we elected these people. They are there to serve us. And then if, we, if some of uh, and the people we elected do not understand a report, don't you think that they, they deserve more time? I, that's, that's the way I see it. I, because I he was so concerned about the press getting copies of this, yes. of this report and publishing its real content. And it, it makes me wonder, I mean, is there something that they're trying to hide from, from this report? Well, I, I just think uh, you, we can't excuse um, some, um, some, some, um, some conspiracy be behind all of that because um, I should also be worried why, this, why, why the Senate should defy its duties to 
the, to, to the opinion of the press, you understand. So that suggests um, some hanky-panky here, here and there. But um, uh, the question would be, as, uh, as, uh, assuming those members who claim not to have uh, been uh, brief of the, of, the, of the details, assuming uh, uh, that's true, would they have, what, what effect would it have had on the, on, the, on the loan proposal? From the body language of the senior president, he was determined to, so, yes. and if you remember last year, he told Mr. President that whatever you want, we are going to do it. Political analyst Adan Jamazi, thank you very much for your contribution to this thank segment. You. And also legal practitioner Raymond in Kanabe, thank you very much for your contribution. Yes, and thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, buyers have to spend over 2 billion naira on official cards for its new governor. Do stay with us. <laughs>